radiator hose replacements are in. Pipes cleaned up, painted with some half-ass shit. That's been replaced. Took uh, four and a half gallons of antifreeze for me to fill it back up. Even though I didn't take nothing loose down on the bottom. Four and a half out of 11 whole gallons that it takes to fill this engine. I didn't expect that. I expected probably two gallons maybe. But we learned. We're going to fix this yoke and this, uh, this U joint here. And pull this boat out here. It's on a Detroit 60. It's on a Western Star 4900 2016. Uh, as you turn the steering wheel, every quarter of a turn is hard, like there's no power steering. Nothing's leaking. Nothing, none of the hoses are leaking. Power steering is full. No problems there. So we're going to figure that they haven't been greasing this dirt right here, this grease dirt. As you can see, you need to grease that every time you grease your king pins and everything else, your chassis. So let's get that boat out. And we can tell whether or not it's going to be the U joint or not. You may have to put a, uh, a 16 millimeter on the front, 17 millimeter on the back, and you're gonna have to hold it there while you take it out. That nut's gonna spin on you. All right, so we took the bolt out here. What we're gonna do is just lift this out of the gearbox straight up. Okay. Now I marked the shaft and everything so I know just in case. My first time even doing a gearbox here, so we're gonna learn from whatever I fuck up. Okay. And yes, I can already tell you, since I've taken this out, that it is definitely the U joint. See how this turns real easy? Well, it should go up and down too, and I'm having to push extra hard. See that? Asphalt. There you go. Yeah, it's definitely that. So we know we're on the right point. Okay. So. Let's uh, go ahead and get this sucker removed and we'll go from there. At least we know we're on the right track. It moves back and forth, but when you try to move it up and down, it barely moves. All right, we've pulled the drive shaft completely out. And unfortunately, this one here doesn't come apart in two pieces. It's all one. So. Sometimes I just wanna cry. We just in the rain. She's speaking to me once again. Hands in my ear. So now what we got to do is press this out, press this out, that's what we're going to get started on right now. The idea was to find a socket that's just a little bit bigger than this, slide it over it, put a C-clamp and press it through, or we'll just hammer it out. Thinking about doing that. Now while we feed this in, this in here, back up to the firewall through that hole, that nipple should be pointing up. Okay. So uh, the way I got my steering wheel set, and that's how you remember the way it was when you took it out, when you feed it back through. This part is not complicated. Just a C clamp where you're going to hit top of the cap here and I used a crescent wrench in the bottom this big heavy duty crescent wrench I got because it's hollow it's got a hole in it that's gonna push that right out as I turn it it'll push it'll pop it right out I don't have a press I could hammer it out but I'm gonna do this 